mula sa Department of Health, CBS, SBMA at ng 89.5 Subic Bay Radio. Eight nine five Subic Bay Radio. Time now for the top of the hour news. In the news today, SBMA Harbor Patrol rescues two in capsized boat. The Harbor Patrol Unit of the Law Enforcement Department of the SBMA rescued two persons in the waters of Subic Bay on Thursday afternoon. The uh, two were identified as Alvin Lagramada, 25 years old, and Jeff Usam, 27 years old. Both are residents of Kalapakuan in the town of Subic. According to the report of the SBMA LED, a call was made by Eric Eliano of the Olongapo Rescue regarding a capsized boat at the vicinity of Kalaklan Point in Subic Bay. SG3 Pantelion B. Tinoy and Romeo D. Reyes of the Harbor Patrol Unit were dispatched and assisted the two victims who were drifting along with the uh, capsized boat near the vicinity of the lighthouse in Kalaklan Point. The boat was later towed and uh, temporarily sheltered to Harbor Marina for safekeeping while the crew were transported back to their local uh, barangay. SBMA Chairman and Administrator Wilma T. Aisma handed over a check worth 5,474,418.36 to Kagawad Erlinda Ignacio of the Tribong Aita Ambala of Pastolan at the Pastolan Village. The check received by the Aita Ambala Tribe of the Village of Pastolan is part of the revenue shares from the lease rentals of business companies located within the ancestral domain of the first half of 2021. The uh, turnover of check is done in the presence of uh, other tribal elders and public relations office manager Arminda Belleza Liamas. In the international scene, tensions flare as Chinese flights near Taiwan intensifies. With record numbers of military flights near Taiwan over the last week, China has been showing a new intensity and military sophistication as it steps up its harassment of the island it claims as its own and asserted its territorial ambitions in the region. China's People's uh, Liberation Army flew 56 planes off the southwest coast of Taiwan, setting a new record and capping four days of sustained pressure involving 149 flights, all were in international airspace, but prompted the Taiwanese Defense Forces to scramble in response and raise fears that any misstep could provoke an unintended escalation. The sorties came as China, with growing diplomatic and military power, faces greater pushback from countries in the region and an increasing naval presence from the United States and other Western democracies in Asia as Taiwan pleads for more global support and recognition. The U.S. called China's latest actions risky and destabilizing while China responded that the U.S. selling weapons to Taiwan and its ships navigating the Taiwan Strait were provocative as well. In Pakistan, an earthquake struck Pakistan's province of uh, Balochistan near the city of Hamai with magnitude uh, 5.9. Struck in the early morning at uh, 3.31 local time, killing at least 24 and injuring 300. The earthquake occurred just one day before the anniversary of the 2005 Kashmir earthquake. According to the U.S. Geological Survey, the earthquake occurred during the uh, rupture of the uh, Trust Fault, which is part of the fold and thrust belt under the uh, Sulaiman Mountains and Central Brahul Range. It was followed by a magnitude 4.6 aftershock. 
And the latest uh, from the uh, National Weather Bureau. The center of tropical depression Maring was estimated at 605 kilometers east of Birak, Catanduanes with maximum sustained winds of 45 kilometers per hour near the center and gustiness of up to 55 kilometers per hour. It is moving southward at 10 kilometers per hour. Intertropical convergence zone is now affecting the rest of the country. Metro Manila and the rest of the country will have partly cloudy to cloudy skies with isolated rain showers and thunderstorms. Subic Bay Freeport, meanwhile, will be experiencing thunderstorms as well. 30 degrees Celsius, the current temperature, forecasted low of 24 and forecasted high of 31. Sunrise this morning was at 5.49 a.m. Sunset later today, 5.43 p.m. With reports from Yahoo News, the SBMA Media Production Department, and from the desk of SBMA Chairman and Administrator Attorney Wilma Aizma, this is the top of the hour news on 895 Subic Bay Radio. I'm DJ Tommy G. Good morning. We keep you informed. Right here on 89.5 FM. We serve the news straight up. <laughs> Morning brew. The 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 morning brew.